Guess who's back? Back again. Gas is back with his friend Chris Davis. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Wow, 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 wow. Welcome to the Davis Locker. We are back. I am your host, Chris Davis, and with me, as always, is the main man. It's only bloody Gaza Day. Hey, guys. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> How's it going, pal? Really good. Good to be back here. It's nice, isn't it? Now, yeah. we've not been here for a while. We've not done the studio stuff for ages because we've been working on a ton of projects. We've written four short films. There's loads of stuff in development, but we're not here to talk about that. What I'm here with Gaza is to talk about is the future of cinema post-pandemic. Yeah. So, and we don't want to trivialise nope. COVID. God, no. This is just our take. Yeah. So, bear that in mind. But, yeah, it's... the it, So, the state of cinema... Mm. Is on a bit of a knife edge, isn't it? I, knife edge. We, we kind of think that, so... Yeah. Well, yeah. That, look, look at it this way. Uh, cinema's lost something like five billion globally. Yeah. The UK itself, ad spend was down 80% last year. So where the hell is cinema, cinema going to go now? That We've got to talk about the first thing. The biggest threat to cinema is what? Streaming. <laughs> Streaming, yeah. Right? So let's talk about it. What are the advantages, disadvantages? What's... How are we going to get people back in the cinema and away from the tellies? Yeah, well, well, first off, have you been back yet? Or are you exclusively streaming? I've not been back. I've not been back. There's a number of reasons for that. I got OCD, so the, the pandemic was a nightmare for me anyway. <laughs> but there's other reasons that the cinema annoys me. But I love the cinema. I love the film aspect of it, but there's other bits. Yeah. We'll get to that. But no, I've not been back. Have you? I've been back a lot. Yeah, I have yeah. been back a lot. Yeah. I mean, the, the big films that I've been and seen. But I have done some streaming as well. Yeah. And... I just think it's almost becoming the norm a little bit, which is yeah. a problem. Yeah. Well, what we've got to say is, sorry to interrupt you, bud, is we're talking about film, new film releases on streaming. Yeah. So when they come out, like Premiere Access on Disney or whatever, and on Prime, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, we're talking about new films, not watching Breaking Bad for the tenth time or whatever. We're talking <laughs> about new films, like having releases in the cinema and on streaming. Yeah. And the easy thing about it is so accessible, isn't it? You yeah. you decide when you're want you're yeah. going to watch it. How are you going to watch it? You're going to yeah. sit in your pants. Yeah. Like I know you like to do. But there's a, a cost to that, isn't there? There is a cost yeah. for how easy it is to, to watch these films. Yeah, well, I I, th- I think the streaming for one, so let's start with streaming. It's too expensive, mm. I think, for me. And I have streamed films, you know, we bought them over lockdown, you do. But I think 20 quid for Jungle Cruise is a piss take. <laughs> a piss take. Good film. Yeah, but what if you go to the cinema on your own? What if you're one of those people? Oh, there's only two of you. It's five quid each at the view. Yeah. It's only a tenner. If you're yeah. going to go to the view to watch it at the cinema, you get the shared experience, you got all the sort of pomp and circumstance of the cinema that I like. Mm. Uh, you don't get that. You can't replicate that at home. Agreed. I think they're just trying to hedge their bets where they say, well, normally, there'll be more, more at least more than one person, yeah. potentially two and three. And also, b- because you can do it when and how you want it, you're paying for that luxury as well. Yeah. yeah. But it's more than just... The frames on the screen of cinema, isn't it? A film is more than the frames on the screen. Yeah. Um, we'll move into the kind of things that have bugged me about the cinema. Because I love the cinema. I love going. Food at the cinema is a no for me. It's one of the things that winds me right up. People like you, because I know what you're like. <laughs> yeah. Got nachos. He's got a hot dog. He's got popcorn. He's having a three-course meal in the cinema. No. Yeah. I've got a pack of M&S chocolate-covered peanuts in my pocket, already opened and laid, so that if I slide my hand in... They make no sound. That's good. What about the bits of fluff you're bringing out as well, though? That's that's just an occupational hazard. You deal with that, <laughs> don't you? But I don't agree with film in the cinema. It stinks as well. Cheesy nachos stink. I love cinema. cheesy nachos. That's yeah, one, of, that's one know, of my favourite things. You're desensitised to the smell of food, though. When we were kids, we used to have to share a goalie top, right, to play football. And his mum worked in a really nice fish shop. So he would have all these exotic fish, like... Mongolian grumble snuff or something like that and he'd run in to have his dinner I'd run in to have mine crispy pancakes or something I don't know and we'd come back out when we were playing football after wear the top he's got on and it would absolutely oh, stink mate, to the high heavens of fish horrible so you you don't count when it comes to the smell <laughs> of food well ice cream ice cream's a nice smell that's why I have a free a free scooper Ben and Jerry's if I can I don't want to see you slurping an ice cream like sloth from the Goonies chocolate <laughs> I love the danger of a nacho with cheese combo. <laughs> like, because it's in the dark, you're scooping it up, you don't know if you're going to get MCC, molten cheese crotch. 
That's disgusting, man. And you've definitely got cheese crust. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not from the nachos. Anyway, let's move on from the food. Now, having said that, I love going to the cinema. I get there early. Mm. I get there early. I, I don't like the adverts, but I love the trailers, Yeah, of course. I wish we could have a YouTube-style skip ad button on the adverts, but, you know, nevertheless, that's where the, the moolah comes in, isn't it? My worry, Gar, going forward in the future of cinema, is that studios are just going to gravitate towards the temple releases like your, your Bond films, your Marvel films, and all that kind of thing, at the um, expense of the more artistic films, the indie films, and whatnot. Yeah. The one thing I would say is those type of blockbuster films are yeah. the films to see in the cinema. Yeah. Whereas yeah. there would be some where, like, the, yeah, the dramas, which are fantastic and they still look good, but I would probably say, well, if, if it was between Bond and something else, which is a drama, I'd, yeah. I'd watch that at home, the drama. I go the other way. Really? Yeah, I go the other way. Like, say if it's a Terence Malick film or something like that, I want to see that in the cinema for the cinematography on the big screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas Bond, I'm not a big fan of Bond anyway. I'll watch that whenever. I'm buzzed. I'm not bothered. But again, but going back to Bond, Bond's a good example of this, but while we're talking about No Time to Die, was this kind of... Obviously, due to COVID, the relentless pushbacks of the film dates mm. and things like that, where films are getting pushed back, pushed back, pushed back so much that the reluctance on studios to spend on on advertising because they just haven't got concrete dates most of the time is one of the big problems, isn't it? Yeah. And during lockdown, I, it, it worried me. Was, yeah. Are we going to have a cinema to come back to? That was, yeah, I was terrified. Yeah. So, terrified. so for you, what do you think the future of cinema is going to look like? When films are released, sort of a dual release on streaming and in the cinema, I think those sort of times are going to get shorter. So when they, at the minute, I think it's about a month or two months or something yeah. before it's released in the cinema and then you can get it on streaming, I think that's going to get shorter and shorter so you're almost at the point of dual release. And I think if it gets to that point, that's like the critical point yeah. because I think that's where cinema is going to really, really suffer. So I think if, if we can do anything, we've got to keep those releases at least staggered for a while. Yeah. Get the bums on seats first. Yeah, I think the underlining thing is we don't want cinema to go away. God, no. But it may go through a bit of a pain barrier until it kind yeah, yeah. of sorts itself out. We'll see, I don't know. I think know. you're right. So if you guys agree or disagree with us or you've got any kind of different thoughts on the future of cinema in this crazy post-pandemic new normal that we're all living through, let us know in the comments. Right, Cassidy. Now for something completely different. Okay, so now we're in for a little bit of a new feature. Towards the end of these new episodes, what we're going to do is a, is a rapid fire quiz or a challenge. And what I've done this week, right. a little challenge for you, is the ABC of films. Okay. We've gone through the alphabet with the letter of each to make up a film right. title. Right. I want your first reaction. It can be a quote. A, a, a bit of a song, okay. just a word, a noise even. So for example, I'll say A, maybe the CGI animation ants, and you would go, in your pants making knickers dance, potentially. I might do. I might just go shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit in your pants. <laughs> well, I'm getting to that age. <laughs> right, there's no woman in an R and just get yeah. it out there, just tell me. All right, I'll try. A, aliens. Uh, get away from her, you bitch. B, Back to the Future. I mean, all time icon. C, Con Air. That mean with the hair. <laughs> nice. Dumbo. Big ears. Oh, sorry, no. Dumbo, the next one is Dirty Dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty Dancing? Yeah. Probably one of the best films ever made. E.T. Ouch. Forrest Gump. I must have me about 15 Dr. Peppers. Gremlins. <laughs> I can't do it, really. I can't do it. Go on next. Home Alone. Ah! Ow. Interstellar. Interstellar. Amazing theme soundtrack. Yeah. Jurassic Park. Clever Girl. Two. Not so clever girl. <laughs> <laughs> Karate Kid. Oh, Daniel LaRusso's an asswipe. Whoa. Last Samurai. It was a good conversation. <laughs> That's good. my favourite bit. <laughs> Matrix. Uh, amazing. Second and third, absolute tripe. Napoleon Dynamite. Tina, you fat lord. Or Rex Guando, when he slaps him in the face, that's well funny. That is yeah. good, yeah. Oliver Twist. Uh, Bozoi. That's my Bill Six. Police Academy. Uh, Mahoney. I thought he was dead cool when I was a kid. 
Quadrophenia. Don't like scooters, hair dryers, rubbish. Rocky. Uh, do, 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 do. Five. Rubbish. Shaving Ryan's Privates. It's one of my favorite pastimes. <laughs> Turner and Hooch. I can't believe they've remade it, but I've not seen it. Might be good, might be shit. Uncle Buck. Bug. The, the boyfriend character is well annoying. He's got an annoying face. Yeah. Village. The Village. The Village, yeah. Great soundtrack. The Gravel Road is a tune. Waterworld. Probably one of the crappiest films I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, a bad man. Pointless. They're, and a rubbish depiction of the future. X-Men. They're getting progressively worse. Dark Phoenix was a pile of turd. Yes, Day. The, new, the latest the, one on yeah, Netflix. Yeah, one, yeah, yeah. I like that one. Good fam good family film. Good solid fun. Good as gold. Salt of the earth. Watch it. And finally, Z for Zoolander. Zoolander. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Blue Steel. And there you go. That's the rapid fire challenge done and dusted. <laughs> episode is one is done. There you go. Is, that, is it episode one? Well, kind of. Episode one episode relaunch. Post, yeah, oh, episode one of the, the coming back to doing it again. We're here on socials. Go and check us out. You can also subscribe, please. Right. Hit that notification bell so you know when all of these new episodes are back and out. There you go. We'll see you soon. Peace. See ya.